गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस एफ टेस्ट एफ टेस्ट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर द ग्रेट स्टैटिस्टिशियन आर ए फिशर द एफ टेस्ट इज यूज टू फाइंड आउट वेदर द टू इंडिपेंडेंट एस्टिमेट्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस डिफर सिग्निफिकेंटली और वेदर द टू सैंपल्स मे बी रिगार्डेड एज ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल पॉपुलेशन हैविंग द सेम वेरियंस फॉर कैरिंग आउट द एफ स्टैटिस्टिक द फॉर्मूला विच इज गिवन इन पॉइंट नंबर थ्री ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड इज टू बी फॉलोड एंड द अजम्पन्स ऑफ एफ टेस्ट आर एस फॉलोज दैट इज पार्ट नंबर ए नॉर्मैलिटी विच मीन्स द वैल्यूज इन ईच ग्रुप आर नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड पार्ट बी होमोजेनिटी विच मीन्स द वेरियंस विद इन ईच ग्रुप शुड बी इक्वल फॉर ऑल ग्रुप्स दिस एजम्पन इज नीडेड इन ऑर्डर टू कंबाइन और पूल द वेरियंसेज within the group into a single source of variation part c independence of error it states that the error should be independent of each value on the basis of this understanding we'll solve a numerical related to f test on your screen you have a question which relates to two random samples which are drawn normally from two population and their values is given to you on the right hand side of the screen you are required to test whether the two samples have the same variance at 5% level of significance students please note that the two samples first is a and the second one is b and the number of units in sample a are 9 and the number of units in sample b are 11 so what we'll do now is the two independent groups that is a and b they have marked equivalent to x1 that is group 1 and x2 as group 2 now what we will do students we'll take the mean for the first series that is x1 series and the mean for the x1 series can be taken into consideration by first adding up all the values which are given in x1 so when you submit this you get a value equivalent to 720 and when 720 is divided by 9 the number of items in the x1 series we get the mean equal to 80 and likewise for variable 2 that is x2 when we add all the values which are given in variable 2 the sum equals to 913 and when 913 is divided by the number of items which are given in variable 2 that is 11 so when 913 is divided by 11 the mean becomes equivalent to 83 now in the second step what we will do we will calculate small x1 and small x2 small x1 is given by the formula x1 minus the arithmetic mean of variable 1 so we will be able to calculate individual item wise deviations with respect to the arithmetic mean for variable 1 that means 66 minus 80 is equivalent to minus 14 67 minus 80 is equivalent to minus 13 75 minus 80 is equivalent to minus 5 76 minus 80 is equivalent to minus 4 82 minus 80 is equivalent to 2 likewise we will be able to calculate the deviation with respect to mean for all the individual items in variable 1 likewise we can calculate the small x2 the small x2 is given by the formula x2 minus the arithmetic mean for variable 2 that is 83 so which means when 64 is subtracted from 83 it leads to a value equivalent to minus 19 similarly 66 minus 83 is equivalent to minus 17 likewise 74 minus 83 is equivalent to minus 9 in this way we will be able to take the deviations of individual item wise values for variable x2 and when we will take the summation of small x1 it will become equal to 0 and the summation of small x2 will also become equal to 0 students please note that this is the property of the arithmetic mean that the individual deviations taken from the arithmetic mean the sum of that will always leads to zero so in the next step what we will do we will take the square of small x1 and the square of small x2 on individual item wise basis which means for small x1 square we will take the square of 
minus 14 and the square of minus 14 is 196. Similarly, the square of minus 13 is 169. The square of minus 5 is 25. The square of minus 4 is 16. The square of 2 is 4. The square of 4 is 16. The square of 8 is 64. The square of 10 is 100. And the square of 12 is 144. And the summation of small x1 square is equivalent to 734. Likewise, the small x2 square can be calculated on individual item wise basis that is the square of minus 19 is 361. The square of minus 17 is 289. The square of minus 9 is 81. The square of minus 5 is 25. The square of minus 1 is 1. The square of 2 is 4. The square of 4 is 16. The square of 9 is 81. The square of 10 is 100. The square of 12 is 144. And the square of 14 is 196. And when you add all these values, you will get summation small x2 square is equivalent to 1298. Students, I hope you must be solving this numerical alongside. Now, prior to moving further, we'll propose the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis in this case is that the two populations have the same variance. And students, I hope you must be remembering the formula for the F test that is S1 square divided by S2 square. The value of S1 square can be calculated by using this expression that is summation of small x1 square will be divided by n1 minus 1. The summation of small x1 square this value we have calculated and this is equivalent to 734 so we'll substitute it over here. In the first variable that is x1 the number of units are 9 so this is 9 minus 1. When 734 is divided by 8, it leads to a value equivalent to 91.75. And similarly, for determining the value for S2 square, the formula given across will be used. Again, the summation of small x2 whole square is 1298. And when 1298 is divided by 10, we get a value equivalent to 129.8. So, it means that the F calculated value is equal to 91.75 divided by 129.8 which is equivalent to 0 0.706. So the F calculated value is equivalent to 0 0.706 and the F table value at V1 equal to 11 minus 10 which is equivalent to 10 and V2 9 minus 1 which is equivalent to 8. So if you calculate the table value for V1 equal to 10 and V2 equal to 8 at 5% level of significance, the F table value will be equivalent to 3.3. Students, I hope you know the procedure to read the F table accordingly. Now, we learn the procedure to verify the proposed hypothesis. In case the F calculated value is less than the F table value, then in all such situations, the null hypothesis will be accepted. In our case, the calculated value that is 0 0.706 is less than the table value that is 3.3. As 0 0.706 is less than 3.3, therefore, the null hypothesis in this case gets accepted. Thus, it can be concluded that the two populations have the same variance. I hope students you must have learned the procedure of F test along with the methodology to solve the numerical. Thank you and have a nice day.